Did you know the concept of batteries isn't a modern invention? In fact, it dates back to ancient times. That's right. The first battery was not created in the late 18th century by Alessandro Volta, but rather it was discovered in the ruins of an ancient civilization around 2,000 years ago. Unearthed in the outskirts of modern-day Baghdad, hence its name, the Baghdad Battery, this archaeological find baffled many. It's a simple yet fascinating piece of history, consisting of a terracotta pot, a tube of copper and a rod of iron. When filled with a liquid that could conduct electricity like vinegar or lemon juice, this ancient device could indeed produce a small voltage. Amazing, isn't it? And while we can't be sure of its exact purpose, theories abound. Some suggest it was used for electroplating, a process to put a layer of metal onto an object. Others propose it may have been used for medicinal purposes, perhaps even to relieve pain. Imagine that the ancients might have been onto something. But here's the real kicker. This artefact predates our modern understanding of electricity by centuries. It was a time when the concept of electricity was as foreign as the idea of smartphones would be to the ancients. Yet, there it was, a battery capable of generating electrical charge, buried in the sands of time, long before Benjamin Franklin flew his kite. Let's pause for a moment and marvel at the ingenuity of our ancestors. They didn't have the wealth of knowledge we have today, nor the advanced technology, but they observed, experimented and created, pushing the boundaries of their understanding. They laid the groundwork for the technological marvels we enjoy today. So the next time you charge your phone, remember this little piece of history that started it all. The ancient battery phenomenon isn't just a testament to human innovation. It's a reminder of our persistent quest for knowledge and our innate ability to create even when faced with the unknown. While the Baghdad battery is one known ancient battery, there are other less familiar instances as well. The Parthian battery, for instance, is a fascinating example of our ancestors' ingenuity. Found in what is now modern-day Iran, these ancient batteries date back to the Parthian era, between 200 and 225 AD. Now, Here's where it gets interesting. These batteries were not used for lighting up homes or powering devices as we use batteries today. Instead, they might have been used for electroplating or electrotherapy. Yes, you heard it right. Electroplating, the process of coating a metal object with a thin layer of another metal, was possibly practiced thousands of years ago. The Parthians could have used these batteries to plate silver onto copper objects, creating stunning pieces of art and jewellery. And then there's the idea of electrotherapy. It's a bit of a stretch, but there are theories suggesting that these ancient batteries might have been used for medicinal purposes. The concept of electrical stimulation to aid in healing isn't new. Even today we use similar methods to treat various conditions. Could it be possible that our ancestors were onto something we've only recently rediscovered? Consider this. The Parthian battery consisted of a clay pot, a copper cylinder and an iron rod, all common materials. Yet when filled with an acidic substance like vinegar, it could produce a voltage. It's a simple design, but it shows a fundamental understanding of chemistry and physics. We often underestimate the knowledge of our ancestors, thinking of them as primitive or unenlightened. But discoveries like these ancient batteries reveal a different story. They demonstrate that our ancestors were not just survivors, but inventors and scientists in their own right. They experimented, they discovered, and they utilised their knowledge in ways we are still trying to fully understand. Incredible, isn't it? Our ancestors were using batteries in ways we can hardly imagine. With such fascinating history, it's no wonder there are a few myths surrounding these ancient batteries. One of the most captivating tales is the theory that ancient batteries were used to illuminate the pyramids. This idea is based on the belief that our ancestors possessed advanced technology, way ahead of their time. The theory suggests that the Egyptians, for instance, used these batteries to light up the dark corridors and chambers of the pyramids while they were being constructed. Quite the thought, isn't it? However, historical evidence doesn't quite support this claim. There is no archaeological proof to indicate that the Egyptians had knowledge of electricity or its applications. In fact, the hieroglyphics and artefacts found inside the pyramids predominantly depict the use of mirrors to reflect sunlight torches and oil lamps as sources of light. Another popular myth is that these batteries were used for electroplating, a process of coating objects with a thin layer of metal. While it's true that the Baghdad battery, an artefact found in modern-day Iraq, 
could theoretically produce a small amount of electricity, it's highly unlikely it was used for this purpose. The amount of electricity it could generate was minuscule, far too small for practical use in electroplating. Moreover, the lack of wires, electrical appliances, or any other evidence of an electrical infrastructure in the archaeological record further weakens these theories. The evidence we do have suggests that these ancient batteries, if they were indeed batteries, were more likely used for symbolic or ritualistic purposes. It's easy to let our imaginations run wild with these enticing myths. They offer a glimpse into a world where our ancestors were pioneers of technology, far more advanced than we give them credit for. But as we dig deeper, we find that these stories often lack the support of substantial evidence. While these myths are enticing, it's important to separate fact from fiction. It's only by doing so that we can truly appreciate the ingenuity and resourcefulness of our ancestors without the veil of unfounded speculation. There's more to these ancient batteries than just their historical significance. As we delve deeper into this fascinating topic, we discover a beautiful thread that connects the ancient world to the modern one. This thread is the principle behind these ancient batteries that led to the invention of modern batteries. Let's travel back in time to the late 18th century. A certain Italian physicist, Alessandro Volta, was about to make a discovery that would change the course of history. Volta was intrigued by the concept of electricity, a phenomenon that was barely understood at the time. He wondered if there was a way to harness this mysterious force. His curiosity led him to experiment with different metals and fluids. Volta's experiments were not conducted in a vacuum. He was building on the knowledge of his predecessors, including the unnamed inventors, of the ancient batteries we've been discussing. These early devices, with their simple design of a clay pot, a copper tube and an iron rod, may seem rudimentary to us now, but in their simplicity lies their genius. They demonstrated the basic principle that different metals, when submerged in a certain type of fluid, can produce an electric charge. Volta took this basic principle and refined it, creating the first true battery, known as the voltaic pile. This device, which used alternating layers of zinc and copper separated by cloth or cardboard soaked in brine, could produce a steady and reliable flow of electricity. This was a game-changer, a technological leap that opened up a whole new world of possibilities. We can't help but marvel at the connection between these ancient batteries and the ones we use today in our smartphones, laptops and electric cars. They all operate on the same basic principle discovered and refined by our ancestors thousands of years ago. So next time you charge your phone or start your car, spare a thought for the ancient inventors who made it all possible. And remember Volta, who took their simple idea and transformed it into something that powers our modern world. History, it seems, has a way of repeating itself, especially when it comes to scientific innovation. These ancient batteries are not just historical curiosities. They serve as a powerful reminder for us today. As we delve into the story of ancient batteries, we're confronted with the timeless traits of human ingenuity and perseverance. Picture the inventors of these primitive power sources, labouring away in their workshops, endlessly tweaking and refining their creations. They weren't just tinkering with clay pots and copper tubes. They were pushing the boundaries of what was known and understood. Just as these ancient inventors dared to challenge the status quo, so too do our modern scientists and innovators. In labs and research facilities around the world, they are grappling with the mysteries of the universe, striving to unlock new knowledge and harness it for the betterment of mankind. Let's take a moment to appreciate the remarkable journey of the humble battery. From the clay pots of ancient Mesopotamia, to the lithium-ion powerhouses in our smartphones, every step forward is a testament to human curiosity and determination. However, innovation is rarely a straight path. It's a process filled with challenges, setbacks and dead ends. But as the story of the ancient batteries shows us, it's through facing these obstacles that we make our most profound discoveries. So what can we take away from this exploration of ancient batteries? It's the realisation that we're all potential innovators, each one of us carries within us the spark of creativity, the capacity to question, to explore, to imagine new possibilities. And so, as we marvel at the technology that powers our modern world, let's not forget the lessons of the past. Let's keep pushing, keep wondering, keep striving for progress, because it's through this relentless pursuit of knowledge that we shape our future. 
So remember, every time you use a battery-powered device, you're part of a story that began centuries ago. And who knows, maybe one day you'll contribute a chapter of your own. If you found this journey through time illuminating, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe for more fascinating historical explorations.